Hiya folks, JD here, and today we've got this. This is the Helifar H802. Ooh, interesting. Okay, let's open this up and have a little look inside. So, as I'm sure a lot of you will remember, I did a Helifar 803 a little while ago, and it was the Obstacle Avoidance Quad. And I first called it and said the Obstacle Avoidance didn't work. Then I backtracked, created another video, and actually showed it working. Now, since then, I've had it working outside, I've had it working in the sun, so it hasn't, it doesn't suffer that much with infrared bleed in the sun. Um, but what we're going to be looking at today is its little brother. Now, I'm really intrigued with these Helifar quads. They are brilliant, brilliant little quadcopters that actually fly remarkably well. So, this is what I'm hoping we're going to have today as well, is a remarkably good quadcopter. Now, there is one thing that has made me laugh that I've just noticed that I'm not going to show you straight away. It's inside there. I'm going to show you in a little bit. And I'm sure some of you may have already noticed anyway. This is the Helifar. Look at that. Nice orange to the top. Really nice looking quad. Okay. LED to the front for orientation. Um, no batteries not plugged in. No batteries in there. There we are. <laughs> and then as we work our way back, we've just got a very nice little groove cut out of the middle there, just so that wind can travel either side across here. Then we have an aeration hole to the back, just so that the printed circuit board and the battery inside can breathe nicely. As we work our way to the underside, we have the battery bay. Now, if we open this, it should be empty. Oh, come on. Oh no, I can see there's a battery in there. Ah! And the battery you get inside is a 330 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt. And this is what I wanted to keep a little bit quiet and show you. Because this battery is a JJRC battery. And the reason for that is because, as I'm sure some of you may have noticed, this is the exact copy of the JJRC baby crab. So, as we were still on the underside, that is where the printed circuit board and everything lies on the inside there. And you have your standard port on your battery, which plugs into the, the uh, into the inside of the quad. Then on to the front, we don't have anything at all. It's just a blanking plate over the front there. Then we have our four rubber bungs, two in the front, two at the back. These rubber bungs, they are, well, they're okay. It's not going to uphold for a lot. It is going to, if you skid it across the ground on gravel, they are going to rip. Uh, so be careful with these, but it does give you a little bit of shock absorption when you do come to land, if you do land on harder surfaces. All in all, I quite like the look of this. The, four, the quad, um, the quad pro uh, blade propeller gives you a lot more stability than the tri-blade. And when you do turn around corners, you will find that the quads, the quad blade rather, will actually turn a lot nicer and shouldn't shake as it turns. So it does actually give you a little bit more stability and it does cut through the air a little bit nicer. I'm looking forward to flying that. Now, I know that this comes in at about 43 to 46 grams as its flying weight. Let's just double check that. 35 34 so i was wrong <laughs> this is why we double check things uh that'll give you a nice little flight but don't take it out in any wind at all because otherwise it's going to bite you in the butt right so we get the one battery in here but also we get a second battery in there now each battery gives you about seven minutes flight time but it does take about 50 to 60 minutes to charge so two hours to charge this for roughly 10 to 14 minutes of flight Inside the pack we also get four extra propellers, as well as we get a screwdriver, and we also get our USB charger. Now, come on to the transmitter. Standard Helifar transmitter, very nice, works extremely well. I'm really looking forward to using this again. We used this on the H803 and it was absolutely flawless. Now we do have a couple of buttons on here. We have high-low speed, we also have flips and rolls, then we have our trim buttons on here as well. Now we don't have, if you do push down these analog sticks, there aren't any buttons at all whatsoever there. The good thing about these transmitters I like, they're small, they're compact, but for guys with larger hands like myself, you can reach everything. But your hands aren't too cramped over it as well, so you've got a nice little bit of breathing room. I quite like that. You also have your on and off button on the bottom and your LED indication light here as well. On the back, we have a screwdriver, a screw to take out the back there. You should have, uh, I think it's four AAAs go inside here. 
Uh, let me just double check that. Do, 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 do. And three triple A's. So what you are going to have to ensure is that as this transmitter does not allow USB charging, these batteries are fully charged or shop bought before you go up for a flight. Now, I quite like that. That feels quite nice. It looks quite nice. And it's quite made of quite sturdy plastic as well. Really does come in quite nicely. Now, the quadcopter as well actually feels quite nice. It's got a bit of flex here and there. That's exactly what you need. Just so that as the quadcopter is moving, it can flex about the place and it's not a totally solid, rigid object. All in all, though, my friends, what else do you get in this package? Well, we have all the tran we have all the accessories here, transmitter and quad, as well as we have our screwdriver. But we also have a few manuals. Now, these manuals come in various languages by the look of it. Yeah, there we are, German. Uh, looks like French as well as English and this tells you exactly how to use the, the quadcopter how to put the batteries in how to actually work it from word go one key start every single thing frips and rolls as well as frequently asked questions in the back have a read it's well worth going through I would recommend it before you start a flight with any quadcopter so there we are folks, this is everything that you get inside the pack for a ridiculously cheap price. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening, I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers, I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time my friends, happy flying.